Hello guitaristas, my name is Adina and you are watching the Spanish Guitar Hub and today I'm going to teach you how to do the flamenco triplet and also how to add hits to the flamenco triplet so it will sound like a strumming technique. So after this lesson you will learn something like this. Or if you add the hits, then it sounds like this. For this lesson, you need to use a metronome because we will use the metronome for these exercises and the metronome will help you to get tighter, to get faster and also to track your progress. So the metronome is a really useful tool. This video is actually sponsored by Skillshare, which is a really amazing website. It has 25,000 different courses. So if you would like to learn some other guitar stuff, you can do that one there. And I think it will be great to compliment your playing. I know that a lot of you are coming to this channel to improve your guitar playing or to play faster or better. And that website could be a great way to improve your playing further. So if you would like to learn about ear training or music theory, uh, then you can do that one there. And there are some things that I don't offer as well. So they have courses on acoustic guitar, if you are interested about that one. Or you can uh, learn about sound design or recording or even some business stuff. If you would like to become a full-time musician, they offer so many different courses. And now, if you click on the link under this video, you can try it for free for two months, so you have really nothing to lose, because you can just go there, you can try out the courses, and after you can decide if you stay with them or not, and you subscribe for even more. So try Skillshare, because it will help you to play the guitar even better. The flamenco triplet has three movements and you need to be quiet straight with your arm and all the movement has to come from the wrist otherwise you won't be able to go fast. And I will go through these movements with you and uh, then I'm sure you will be able to go fast. And after when we go through these movements we will start using the metronome to improve our playing and to get faster and more punctual. So let's see the movements. Okay, so I think the best is to show these movements from the sideways because you can really see how I'm doing that one. So at first we will use our middle and ring finger and we are really straight with our arm and every movement just comes from the fingers and nothing else is moving and we go down. This is the first movement. After we will start using our thumb and then we turn. We only turn the wrist but not moving the hand, just the wrist. And after we will turn back with the wrist and we will go up with our thumb. So it is done, done, down, down, up, down, down, up. Let's see how does it sound if we add a chord and I'm going to hold an E major. I would like to say that flamenco guitarists start this movement from the up but I'm starting the down movement because we need to add the hit and this is the only way to add the hit if we start with the down movement. So you can start with the up movement so it will be up, down, down, up, down, down. Both 
ways you can go fast. It doesn't matter which way you start, but if you would like to add the heat, you have to start with the down movement. Now the next question is how do you practice this one to get it tight? The, the good way to practice it is adding accents. So how do you add accents? You play something a little bit louder than the other ones. And you can add accents in these three different movements. So at first we can add accents on the first movement, which is the down, so that will be louder than the other ones, and the other ones will be a little bit more quiet. So let's see how does that sound. Now let's see how does it sound if we add accent on the thumb going down. And let's add the accent on the thumb up. Once we are comfortable with the movement, let's start using the metronome. And we can start using the metronome setting up 80 BPM and we will play one strum per beat. By the way, I have a guitar course out which is called Spanish Guitar Strumming Techniques and this is one of the lessons, so if you would like to develop this one even further or if you would like to learn about other strumming techniques, please go to my guitar course on Amazon or my website and you can get an ebook or book and it has 19 lessons and over 150 exercises that you can practice. Let's go faster. 100 BPM. Let's go faster. 140 BPM. One hundred and seventy BPM. There is a limit that you can reach with the metronome, so after a while I suggest you to start doing three strums per beat. So at first, to do that one, we will start clapping the rhythm so you know exactly what the sound that you are looking for. I set up my metronome to 80 BPM and it will be 3 strums per beat. Now let's play it on the guitar. Once you are comfortable with this one and you are right on time, you can go faster. Let's see how does it sound on 100 BPM. And sixty BPM. Two hundred BPM. So 
this is what you need to aim for. You need to aim for 200 BPM and then it will sound very nice and smooth. And after you can add this uh, to a lot of different stuff and it will sound amazing. Um, and you can just add like a chord progression and it will sound really nice. Uh, for example, this one. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this lesson, please hit the like button because it will help the YouTube algorithm to find for other people. And next week I will come back with another exercise which will be adding the hits to the flamenco triplet. So we will make this as a strumming technique and it will sound quite exciting. So subscribe for more videos and come back for next week so you can learn that one as well. So see you guys next week with some other tricks and a new lesson and hopefully it will help you to become a better guitarist. Hello guitaristas, my name is Adina and you are watching the Spanish Guitar Hub and today we will learn how to sound more Spanish, more flamenco when you are playing your scales. Recently I made a lot of videos about scales and